Good morning. So we are going back to the Gemara on 103a. We um, learned the halacha discussing Yak Nahaz. That is, when um, Yom Tif is Saturday night and a person's obligated to make number one Havdalah on Shabbos and then Kiddush on Yom Tif. So he combines into this process called Yaknaz. So the Gemara is now going to get back to its original discussion. First, it's going to, have to talk a little bit about the order of the sun and candle, which one comes first. We're not going to delve too deeply into that because the, the halachas of candle and the sun actually come in Barachas, not so much here. Uh, we'll look at it a little bit. And then the Gemara is going to get back to the question of... Um, how many blessings one is required to recite when one is drinking more than one cup of wine, right? Because we're talking about combining, we're talking about combining brachas into one cup of wine, right? How you can't, you shouldn't combine Havdalah with Kiddush, but you may combine Kiddush and Havdalah as the Yakna has, right? You combine the Kiddush and Havdalah on one cup of wine, right? <laughs> So right, okay. So birchat hamaz and, and sorry, birchat hamaz and benching and kiddush you may not combine or you should not combine unless you don't have any more wine. Whereas kiddush and you may combine, you should combine actually. And then that's going to lead us to the whole discussion about um, when there are more than one cup of wine at the table, how many brachas a person makes and when and when, how and what. Um, and then the Gemara is going to get back to more details about Abdullah and the more details about kiddush. And then back to the Seder night. So we've got ways to go. But before we go there, I want to just share one paragraph. Now that we don't have it in front of us here. This is to address uh, someone's question yesterday about so, someone asked when a person, what was the question? If a person is doing Havdalah because they forgot Havdalah in their Kiddush, right? It's Pesach, it's Saturday night. Right. And they have to make Kiddush and Havdalah. So they made Kiddush on Yom Tif, but forgot to make Havdalah on Shabbos. It's Saturday night, they forgot to make the Havdalah on Shabbos. And we went through all the de- all the scenarios as to when he remembers and to make sure that his cup of wine he's drinking does not uh, accidentally add to the number of cups of wine you're allowed to have at the Saturday night. And someone asked, why can't he make it on a non comets um right, right, yeah. Lauren asked this, uh, why can't he make it on a non comets uh beverage. beverage? So I don't have an answer directly, but this might actually help. So I can give you actually in Hebrew if you want to follow along with the Hebrews. Helpful. It's Simon Ray Savage Chapter two hundred ninety six. Yeah, well, not exactly. But I don't want to get into that. Well, the discussion is there, but we're not going to get into that all, actually. Because certainly, as I mentioned yesterday, everybody agrees that the best is to do wine. It may even be required if you have it. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. What she says here, yeah, what she says here. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll read that also. Here, they said above, chapter 296. Mm-hmm. Halacha Yud. Maybe it's actually in English. Do you have it in English? Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it up there? The... No, that, that one's not up there. Maybe in the library. This? No, no, I have the yeah, Adam's screen. Okay, so. We, we are accustomed that in these countries, come in. I'm actually addressing a question you asked yesterday. So, it's a custom in our, in these countries, that is in Ashkenazi countries, to be lenient, to make Havdala on uh, the last night, uh, the Moitzoi Yom Tif of Pesach, so the last night of Pesach going into the weekday, after after Pesach, after 
after Achar, after Mashiach Suda, which we practice right after after Achar Pesach, after Pesach is over, to make Hadalon beer. Af im yesh la yain haber beisai, even though he's had he has lots of wine in his house. The fisha secher chavu love yesu na yain because beer is more precious to him than wine because the whole Pesach he wasn't able to drink beer. Right, so he's excited. It's kind of so it adds to like this excitement. But someone who's not so excited to drink his beer, he should make wine. Okay. Now, even someone who does appreciate beer and is excited to finally drink beer after a week of not drinking beer, may not use that for Abdullah unless it is uh, precious in literally the wine of the region, meaning it's considered like a precious drink in that area. I think here in Canada, beer would be... would. Would be considered that I think not just here in Canada, the U.S., Australia, Europe. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's the kind of beer is the kind of drink in our society that you would invite someone over for a beer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. is barbecue cement base, as I'll be we'll explained in chapter two seventy two, how we qualify something that's valuable enough. Okay. but countries in which wine is produced there, where wine is the choice beverage of the country, which today because we have shipping all over. Local is international. Wine can be made somewhere else. to make a difference. It's still going to be appreciated anywhere else. Yeah. He may not drink, make Kiddush on, on any other drink. Even he really, really enjoys it. And there's no wine at all available in this town. Well, there she is. Baruch has explained elsewhere. Nonetheless, he still has to make Abdullah wine because that is the choice drink of the region. Okay, so the point here is that you're supposed to make drink, you're supposed to drink, uh, you're supposed to make Abdullah wine. That's the primary, right? You were asking this yesterday, why can't he make Abdullah be made on wine? I was asking about the, I think, when we did the. When he forgot, classes. that's right, he forgot to make Abdullah during Kiddush. So and he, this is at the end, even more so on. So maybe, maybe he should drink another kind of, another, another drink so he doesn't add to his four cups of wine. But here you're learning. Again, this is chapter 296, so it's not the laws of Pesach, it's the laws of Abdullah in general. And over there he says, you should make on wine. With the exception of these few times, uh, Saturday night, it happens to be in your place. Beer is an exciting drink, and you're excited to drink beer because you haven't drank a whole night, a whole week. It doesn't really fit the case. It doesn't really fit the case here. But moreover, I want to add this part. Allah Yidal, this is what I want to share, which is interesting. Okay, so we we, we were learning the laws of Yaknahaz, the laws of... We're using this or this? No, no. Uh, I don't. Okay, I didn't make copies of it yet. Okay, I'm Unless we have. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Oh, I'm sorry. Not here. Okay, so <clears throat> the, the we were discussing the halachas of Yak Nahaz, Yain Kiddush Ner Abdullah's mind when you combine Kiddush and Abdullah together. We learned those halachas from chapter uh, Tough Ayin Gimel 473, which is in the laws of the Seder night. Right. The, the chapter two, uh, 473 discusses all the laws that go from the first cup of wine on the Seder night to the second cup of wine on the Seder night, which is the entire halachas of the Haggadah, right? Which is karpas, yachat, all that stuff is in there <laughs> until the second cup of wine, right? So in there, there were two paragraphs dedicated to what happens when it's Saturday night and how you do your first cup of wine, namely your Kiddush and Abdullah combined. That, and then we went to, if you forgot the Abdullah. Okay. okay. But... Now we're looking at the laws of Abdullah generally. Mm-hmm. So here too, at least briefly, he discusses what happens if you're making Abdullah on Yom because it's Saturday night and it's Yom Tif. Let's say it's the first night of, I don't know, what, what are the Yom Tifs that could, could even fall on what's a Shabbos? Shavuot. I, I'm, I'm not sure if the calendar is such that it could be ever happen like that. Didn't we just have Shavuot Saturday night? No. We did, we had, yeah, we did, did, didn't we, yeah, we had, we actually was Saturday night, didn't we? I think so. Shavuos this year was Friday and, I think it was, yeah. Shabbos and Sunday, or Friday and Shabbos? I think Saturday night was all day. Let's see, one second, Shavuos was, let's go on my calendar, such good memories. Okay, Shavuos was, was Friday and Saturday. So Saturday night we weren't making Kiddush also. Why? If it started Friday night, it was Saturday night. Right. right. Out Sunday. So Saturday night. No, so Saturday night we're making Abdullah, but not Kiddush also. Uh, Kiddush, you only do the first night. 
the first and second, but the second night was the first night was Friday, Thursday night, ah, Thursday. and the second night was Friday night. I just thought it was Friday. Night. Okay. Right, it was Friday and Saturday. But I don't think the second night was Saturday night. Okay, okay so but at any rate, he's discussing in chapter two sixty two sixty nine. Now, Lachas of, are you pulling up on your thing? Very good. It does happen. I think Sukkot, yeah, you, you, no, There could be other young Yom Tzadik Sukkot. Okay, yeah, so there too, he discusses Yak Nahaz. It happens right now. Okay, so let's look at it. Even though it's not as much detail, the, the details of Yak Nahaz are more in chapter 473 as we learned them uh, the last few days. So here writes, Yid Aleph, Yom Tev Shechaliyah is Moitzori Shabbos. You see it at uh, 11, subsection 11, Halacha 11. 269? 269. Reis Adik Vav, I'm sorry, 266. 296, I'm sorry, 296. I'm sorry. What did I say before? 269. Sorry, it's 296. Okay. You have it? No, but that's okay. I was... Okay. Uh, no, no, yeah, no. You no, can pull no. it up. 296. It's there. Shabbos. The Moitzai Shabbos. If Yom Tif is Saturday night, where one is required to make Kiddush on Habdallah on one cup, Assuming you know this already, you know, it's because the laws are more detailed described by Pesach night. For whatever reason. Now, the Ein Yayin, he has no wine. So Saturday night, it's Moitzoi, it's, what's that, wait, yeah, it's, my, it's it's Saturday night, it's Moitzoi Shabbat, Shabbat you have Dola and Kiddush, he has no wine. Yesh Oymrim, some say, she Yachaloymar Yaknahaz, he may recite the Yaknahaz, the Yayin Kiddush, near Abdullah's man, that whole process that combined Kiddush and Abdullah, al hapas over bread. So he's holding a chal on his hand, and instead of opening up with yayin Kiddush and Abdullah's man, he would make hamotzi. Right, a person can recite Kiddush and hamotzi. A person has no wine, he can wash his hands, hold his challah bread, and do the entire process of Kiddush, and instead of hagafen, make hamotzi, and then eat his bread. So he's doing that on Matzah Shabbos, but here he's combining Kiddush and Abdullah. Now, Sha'af She'ein Mabdilan al pas, even though ordinarily the halacha is one may not make Abdullah on bread, Kiddush you may, because but Abdullah you cannot. We already learned that Abdullah, that wine is more attached to Abdullah than it is to Kiddush, because Kiddush in theory you can make on bread, whereas Abdullah you cannot. But here, because Kiddush and Abdullah are combined, the Kamuk and Abdullah is you fail the Kiddush. But in this case, Abdullah here is secondary to the Kiddush. And therefore, you can make Havdalah here on the bread. Because the halacha is you may make Kiddush on bread. Therefore, you can also recite the Havdalah as attached to the Kiddush over bread. Okay. But this is one opinion. Others say, Better make Kiddish and Abdullah on your cup of beer or Shar Mashk or some other drink, Shem Khamar Medina, which is of a privileged jo- choice drink. In other words, here's the question. We have a we have a we have we have two principles in regard to Abdullah. Principle A is, well, it's actually one principle. Principle A is wine is the best thing to do make, to make Abdullah on. Principle B is Kiddish may be used over bread. Principle C is Kiddush better not to do on beer. Right? So when it comes to Kiddush, better not to do better to do, better to do bread than beer. When it comes to Abdullah, better to do beer than, than bread. Because you can't do Abdullah on bread at all. And now that you're combining Kiddush and Abdullah, which one of these two is primary? Better beer. Kiddush. That because 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 Abdullah is better is not to have bread, be, better beer for better beer because Kiddush not to have because Abdullah is not to have bread or better bread because Kiddush may have bread and therefore Abdullah is dragged along too. But if Abdullah is secondary, then you would think bread. That's the first opinion. Second the opinion second says no, better go to beer, beer and lessen your Kiddush and Abdullah stand and Abdullah standard rather than violate Abdullah completely, which is not to be on bread. Okay, now how do we apply this on on Pesach Seder night? Beers, well, you better have wine. Okay, well, let's on okay. Pesach. Beers, let's just say okay. One second, beers out, right? But 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 bread is also bread's for sure out because you can't make you can't have matzah now. You can't have matzah. You can't make kiddush. You can't make a on matzah. 
Your mitzvah of matzah is coming uh, later. You can't have matzah now. That right? narrows the choices. Then. And, 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 and one second, now, if you forgot Kiddush, if you forgot Havdalah, and you have to make Havdalah, Havdalah later, we cannot tell you to combine your Havdalah to your moitzi matzah, because as we're learning now, you cannot make Havdalah on bread. So your only option that's left is, Some is the non- drink that's not non, permit. Some beverage that's Non, right? Okay. So would we, we, be the non, the non, the non, the non wine choice uh, alcoholic drink, which let's say you're finding very limited. kosher for Passover, uh, kosher for Passover um, whiskey. But you're very limited when you, especially that your custom is to not even drink hard liquor. Right. Okay. So let's just uh, put the Chabad custom aside. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Now, so now, come, now let's look at the last line. The custom here is in the Ashkenaz to follow the first opinion. The first opinion being that you're better off making Abdullah on Chalam when it's attached to bread to to to, to Kiddush than to making on beer. So all this is to indicate that the that the the decision to maintain Abdullah attached to your wine is so great that it overrides. The opinion which, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, the opinion that says that. Second You're better is... off making Havdallah on bread because it's coming after your Kiddush than it is to make on beer and lower your you lower your standard. And therefore, and therefore, I, I, I'm not 100 sure, but I want to indicate from here that we avoid making kiddush on the on making abdallah on these other drinks, which is why the halacha yesterday was was obsessed that you should make it of a wine and to make sure you're not adding fourth cup of wine. But it's very. In other words, if if the halacha was that go ahead make your kid your, make your combined kiddush and on beer, then maybe you could have had an argument there. That if you forgot your Abdullah, make your Abdullah on uh, a kosher of Pesach whiskey, and that way you're not adding to your four cups of wine. Maybe. But that doesn't apply. It's better to do it on... We're saying it's better to do it on bread, but then you can't have bread, and you can't do it on matzah, so then you're, you're doing... So you're back to square one. Which is wine. do it on a drink. No, you don't have wine. Oh, okay, but, but if he... Right. No, well, I said um, uh, Pesach night, you have wine. You have wine for your Seder, so you definitely have wine. So why would they be talking here about bread? This is talking about in general matzah matzah Pesach matzah matzah Shabbos. Ah, it could be Shavuos, it could be Sukkot. So this is just okay. yeah. I'm just trying to apply this logic to how it would, uh, to to Pesach. Okay, but it's not. I'm putting this down just to see if we can kind of apply it, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Anyway, I'm just opening this up. I have a question. Let's see. Yeah. Started with the question of if you can use a different beverage other than wine, so that you don't violate the four cup issue. That was. That was our yeah. That was that was the that was the, that was his question. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm, and I'm introducing this to indicate how how far we go that we don't like you using something else, something that isn't wine. To the point that at least the Ashkenazi custom is better make your combined kid dish and Abdullah on bread than on beer on a regular Saturday night that goes into Yom Tov, not Pesach. That kind of indicates how how much we don't want you to be using beer. This only applies to have the if it's combined with kiddush. But it, okay, but it would it apply to like a Saturday morning here when they do it sometimes on whiskey or? Okay, so Saturday Saturday morning we're a little less we're a little more lenient. Okay. Even though personally I don't do it, you but it's, be doing it on wine. Yeah, okay. a, but uh, but we're a little more lenient on Saturday morning because <laughs> the Saturday morning kiddush is really only. Um, not to make the meal, the day meal feel bad. Okay. It's a funny thing because the primary kiddush is Friday night. The primary meal is Shabbos day, right. and the therefore meal is Shabbos. Yeah, if you day. only if you can only afford uh, one challah meal, for one meal, for it would be for Saturday day, Shabbos oh. day. That's the primary meal. But you make, but you're if you have only one cup of wine, you'd use it for Friday night because kiddush is to sanctify the day, and that comes the first thing as soon as the day starts, Friday night meal. Yeah. Whereas um, the meal is about enjoying the Shabbat. And in theory, Friday night is the end of your day. You already ate Friday, early Friday morning. Shabbat day, this is your main meal. 
of Shabbat. And therefore, not to make the Shabbat day meal feel bad, we make a kiddush, but it's not really a kiddush because the only bracha you make there is hagafa. You don't make any of the blessing. You, you, you recite a bunch of things, a bunch of psukim and a bunch of different, no but no, not a blessing, but hagafa. So there we're a little more lenient, but nonetheless. Why is it better to make um, the not to use uh, the years because of the violating the Havdalah rules, or is it? It's because of the Havdalah. Or is it because of Kiddush? Because of the Havdalah. Havdalah. Yeah. He says here, even he, he mentions that even if a person has. Be, he goes on to it, 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 the be, previous halachas is all building up on the fact that a person should use wine even if a person has a full cup of beer and not a full cup of wine better to use the wine that isn't full than the beer that is full because the wine is best there's no issue regarding kiddush kiddush component of kiddush is so kiddush can be used with on bread it, right so that that that's then transfers over to other beverages Say again. In other words, oh, okay. So in that case, you're doing it over bread, and then when 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 do you use the the non wine? Again, completely lost here. Okay. So in other words, uh, it's better to use uh, to make kiddush over bread. And to use this other beverage. Yeah. And that's the final. Yes. Kiddush. Yeah. And, and you look at the I reason he says here, he says here in Halacha Zion, because Kiddush should begin with his attached to meal. Because as we, as we learned, one has to make Kiddush in the place of the meal. Right. Indicating that Kiddush is itself attached to meal. And because Kiddush is connected to meal, therefore you can make Kiddush on bread. But wine is, un, Habdala is unrelated to meal. And therefore Habdala should be made on wine primarily. Right, you know the only the only time you could use beer on let's say Yom Tiv, on, on Havdalah is if you have no wine at home, and the beer is choice uh, a choice drink in that you see in that area, area. in that area. Yeah, it's funny, but you you would think a choice here it talks about a choice drink if it's from the area, like locally. Yeah, but you would think. In today's world, at least, if I have people over and I take something out that's from the area, it's like it's no big deal. Right, like you want to get exotic beer from somewhere that, else? Yeah, or I, I don't know. That has to be grown. Here. Okay, so that's a good I point. This at the duty free in uh, Europe, you know, that's a good point. So it, today, local is international, right? So it, it's a question of not where it's grown, but so much as uh, culturally speaking, would you consider this drink a choice yeah. beverage, even if it came from somewhere else? Yeah. 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 I have a question about the uh, coffee and tea. Say again? I've heard both opinions on coffee. Yeah, so they, 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 it, it's beyond the scope of our discussion here, but <laughs> anyway, I just want to br bring this up to indicate um first of all, just complete the story of Yaknahaz, which we learned in Agamotta, but also it, it, it indicates the reason why we'd be pushing more for wine than something else if one forgot to make Havdalah on Saturday night, that's the Seder night, so much so as indicated by the fact that we would prefer you made your Havdalah secondary to your Kiddush and use bread and to use beer on a regular Saturday night, yes, which is Seder night, which is not Seder night. We would prefer that you lowered that you that you made your kiddush second, you made your havdalah secondary to your kiddush and made the whole thing on bread rather than using rather than using beer, even though ordinarily havdalah is unrelated to bread. All right, so this kind of indicates to you how important it is that havdalah be made on wine. So this whole thing is basically you should always have wine in the house. And yeah, you should always be eating where you do kiddush. <laughs> Pretty you much. Avoid a lot of problems. Pretty much. 
I just, did we ever yeah. find, I know we did Yaknaaz and the different scenarios and why one closer to the other and all that. But did we ever figure out why common sense says you close off the day and then you start a new day? Right. The logic was because we want because to push, we, and... we want to demonstrate that Shabbos isn't the ah, burden. We're not excited so we're pushing it off as far as we can. Okay. That was the logic. Okay. All right, so we'll stop over here and then tomorrow, God willing, we will get to the back to the Gemara. Tomorrow the Gemara is going to be about what's the order of Bisamim or candle on on a regular Saturday night. Why we do not, not why, but the different opinion, different opinions as to which order should be which way. And then we'll get to, as I mentioned, some other very interesting halachas about making an about how many brachas per paragraph a person should make when he has more than one cup of wine. And whether the wine is after benching, before benching, whether he's expecting the extra glass of wine, not expecting the extra glass of wine. We're going to get into all that uh, tomorrow. Okay, have a good day, Eden. Thank you. Wait, is tomorrow a fast? Yeah. Is it? Uh, tomorrow's, uh... tomorrow's a fast. Right, today's the 16th. Yeah. So tomorrow's a fast. It starts tonight? No, no, no. It's not a 24 hour fast. It's only a 12 hour. So it starts tomorrow morning. Early, okay, so like 5 a.m. Right, which means that uh, davening is going to be late. So there's a class or what? I, I think so, yeah. Same time, right? Yeah, same time. Yeah. Maybe a little later because of the longer davening, but yeah. Okay, have a wonderful day, Eden. Okay.